Joe Biden, who apparently can't even look at a map because his campaign, who just bolted out of New Hampshire before the results were out, he, you know, it's like leaving a wedding before dessert. He just left the state uh, without any results. Joe Biden skipped Nevada and just went straight down to South Carolina. Uh, His campaign has literally been running on empty for months. Uh, Colin Tooley, uh, our brilliant uh, editor, does great graphics for us. I mean, we've had this for six months. Uh, We might need to actually change that graphic and show, you know, (laughs) leaks (laughs) the the Titanic starting to sink uh, and after the iceberg uh, has been hit. But Joe Biden, uh, after coming in an embarrassing fifth place in New Hampshire. What did he do? He goes down to South Carolina, again, tries to pretend that he's been a champion for African-Americans forever and ever, which is not true, Uh, between the crime bill, uh, between a lot of other things he's done, his policies have uh, wreaked havoc on poor and black and brown communities from the crime bill, from repealing Glass-Steagall to the bankruptcy bill, to, uh, I mean, you go down the list, bankruptcy bill, repealing Glass-Steagall, the crime bill. I mean, he, he pushed um, NAFTA, which has also done a number on poor people, minority communities in the Midwest and elsewhere. So Joe Biden, not a friend of black people, but he has benefited by being Obama's vice president. And by the way, anyone that understands politics, Obama didn't pick Joe Biden because he thought he was such an upstanding guy. He picked him because he needed an old white guy to make other uh, white people feel comfortable voting for a black guy whose middle name was Hussein. Let's just be real about it. That's what happened. So Joe Biden, after coming in a distant uh, fourth in Iowa, after coming in fifth in New Hampshire, where does he go? He doesn't go to campaign like crazy in South Carolina. I think he did one or two events. He doesn't go to try and get more African-American groups to support him, more African-American leaders to endorse him. He doesn't go to try and get more unions to endorse him. Where does he go? He goes to his home base. Joe Biden, after getting clobbered, runs to his Wall Street sugar daddies. Joe Biden to host more than 250 donors from Wall Street, big business at a New York City fundraiser. Here's the guest list. I mean... You got to give it for him. He has no shame. He was. This already happened, so this uh, this was written before the event. Um, Biden's campaign uh, expected to raise one billion from this these events. The list shows names such as former Morgan Stanley CEO John Mack, who, by the way, was a big big culprit in tanking the global economy in two thousand seven and eight. Centerview Partners Alan Hartman, Citigroup executive Ray McGuire, Blackstone chief operating officer Jonathan Cray. Blackstone, of course, has invested the most uh, in a- of any company in fossil fuels. They claim that they're going to be changing that, but as of right now, they are invested the most in the projects destroying our planet. Uh, attendees also include Goldman Sachs. Uh, you also have uh, another public affairs person from Blackstone. Uh, you have Kamala Harris's former national finance chair, who's now backing Biden, uh, and Another person from Centerbridge Partners, which is a big, sleazy Wall Street firm. So what does that tell you? Joe Biden, he, he doesn't actually have a message. His campaign basically said, hmm, let's just run Hillary Clinton's campaign, meaning Trump is the Antichrist, Trump unprecedented threat, Trump is bad, Trump's the Antichrist, vote for us. And their calculation was probably, well, we have the whole middle class Joe thing going. It's, of course, not based on anything real. It's not based on facts, but we have the narrative. The media has helped us push that narrative. And, oh, by the way, Joe Biden publicly said we, he has a penis. So he's not going to have to deal with sexism or any of that stuff that Hillary had to deal with. So... He never, you know, the arrogance and the incompetence of Joe Biden's campaign, they thought, well, we don't really have to have a message. We don't have to actually have a bold vision or an idea. We could just put up some ads with Biden, with Barack Obama. We could post on Twitter BFF bracelets 
on Best Friends Forever Days. Did you, do you remember that? It was like BFF Day, and Biden tweeted two bracelets, Barack and Joe, best friends. This is, this is what Joe Biden has been running on. It's been, honestly, I, I didn't think it, it was even possible to run a worse campaign than Hillary Clinton. Um, but this is a worse campaign than Hillary Clinton ran, and that's saying a lot. So he's getting destroyed in Iowa, which would have, should have been a very favorable state for him. He got destroyed in South uh, New Hampshire. He doesn't even go next to Nevada. He just goes to South Carolina, which I don't understand that. Yes, you're strongest in South Carolina, but at this point, if you don't come in a very close second in Nevada, you're done. You can't lose fourth place, fifth place, and in Nevada, third place, and then expect to go into South Carolina and just throw up your hands and say, Obama, and think you're going to win. So Biden runs to Wall Street. Why are we not surprised? Biden is also, and, and you know, obviously Joe Biden is not the one running, uh, writing his campaign emails, but this email last night for the Biden campaign was really something. I tweeted this out. Subject line, out of options. Well, that's a pick me up. That, that makes me want to give you money. Jordan, we're running out of options. Since we've been emailing you all week, yes, you have, about the importance of tonight's deadline, the, the end of the, um, what's the deadline? Ba, 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 ba. So, I, I don't remember what the deadline is. Uh, since we've been emailing you all week about the importance of tonight's deadline, we were certain we'd be on track to hit our goal. But sadly, we were wrong. With three hours to go, we're still 2,000 donations short. Reminder, our fundraising numbers go public at the end of every month. So if we fall short, everyone will know. We can't risk that this month. I don't know. Jen, you're an expert on email marketing. Uh, this is a kind of desperate sounding subject line, and it's a desperate sounding email to me. It's like, hey, please give me five bucks. We don't want the whole world. We don't want to be embarrassed. Not good for Joe. And the fact is, if you're going to Wall Street and you are bending the knee, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, if you are going to Wall Street and you are bending the knee to Wall Street and saying, please, please help me out of this ditch. I came in fourth place in Iowa. I just came in fifth place. And by the way, who are these investors that are still giving money to Joe Biden? Not so smart. Anyway, my point is he's in trouble. He's in trouble because I got news for you. The Nevada caucus, you, yes, you're going to have a lot of Latinos coming out. Of course, you have the culinary union, and they've been putting out this nonsense about Bernie's coming and he's taking your health care away. I don't really think it. the totality of the culinary union's members buy this. And by the way, Joe Biden was praying that the culinary union, after attacking Bernie Sanders, would endorse him. Even they, they're not touching Joe Biden. They came out. And they said, we're not endorsing anyone, but Bernie's bad. So they don't want to put their cards in for Joe Biden because he's, he, he's tanking. What's incredible to me, Joe Biden, his campaign, their brilliant idea is not to change the message. It's not to put out, you know, good things he has done as a senator. It's not to present a, a bold new policy to excite people. It's to run to Wall Street. You can't make this stuff up. And by the way, he's running to Wall Street. Again, sorry if you already saw this poll. He's running to Wall Street when his numbers among African-American voters are just bleeding. Down 25 points among African-American voters in the most recent Quinnipiac poll. This was what they called Joe Biden's quote-unquote firewall, which is a dumb word. It doesn't hold up. But this is, this is his firewall, and it's cracking. It's cracking. And by the way, don't, you know, the media says, oh, no, South Carolina voters don't take their cues from Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada. Uh, well, then why is he down 25 points? Granted, this is national, but he's down a lot. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. 
Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.